Hello and welcome to everyone. We gather today to celebrate Max and Morgan's wonderful relationship, to christen this first step on their journey toward a long, happy, and healthy life together, and to witness the commitment they will make to each other. But we're also here to share in that commitment. We've all exerted some kind of influence, large or small, on Max or Morgan's life, and thus, what we will see here today is not only the culmination of two individuals' romantic journeys, but also the product of the love that two families, two groups of friends, and two communities have for these people. Max and Morgan have been crazy about each other from the start, said one bridesmaid, for instance. Once they went on their first date, they were inseparable, said another. I could go on, but I don't need to, because pretty much everyone I've talked to about this has said the same thing. Max and Morgan simply sort of belong together. And it's not hard to see why, if you ask me. Morgan, the day I walked into the bookstore, I saw a beautiful cashieress. Little did I know I was going to marry you that day. Maybe it was the stars, maybe it was God poking me like a bear. Go talk to that woman. It might work out for you. <laughs> so, the little voice in my head said, I'm gonna do it. I went up there, and man, was it right. I did find the most beautiful woman a man could ever see. I walked home that night after our first date. I looked up, like I always do. I asked God, let this be the one, like most men do. But for me, it worked out. It worked out in so many ways. Max, when I first met you, there was something about you that I couldn't understand. Maybe it was your cute smile or your rosy cheeks, or are you telling me that you had a dog in a truck, which later I found out neither was true. <laughs> but really, <laughs> But really, it was because that day I met my best friend. Since that day, you have shown me what it truly means to be loved. And because of that, I promise to always love you and be by your side, supporting you and cheering you on. As long as I can remember, I've always prayed for a man who would love me unconditionally. Someone who would not only love me, but God and his family too. And I can say that God truly answered my prayers. Why are you walking so fast? Oh, you look stunning. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. I do get cry. It's so funny. <laughs> I didn't think it would be right now, but you know. Something I truly admire about you is your love for all those around you. The way you light up a room with your smile is something truly special. And it still amazes me that everywhere we go, you somehow have a friend. <laughs> you're a person of faith, love, and you're always straight up. You get that one from your dad. You have a kind heart like your mother. You're always there asking about people. You're always smiling. You always work hard. And you never let anyone get under your skin. You are my happiness and my everything. I will never break your heart. I will always cherish you for the rest of my life. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow and all that I am. I will always love you forever and ever. 1 Corinthians 13 talks about how love is patient and kind, but this is truly how I feel about you. Max, you are patient and you are kind. You do not envy or boast. Max, you are not proud. You do not dishonor others. You are not self-seeking, nor are you easily angered. You keep no record of wrong, and you do not delight in evil, but rejoice with the truth. You always protect, always trust, always hope, and always perseveres. Max, you never fail. Being with you has brought me a sense of joy, comfort, and faith in knowing that I will always be adored, appreciated, and loved endlessly. You are my best friend, my soulmate, my biggest supporter, my happiness, and my home, and I promise to spend the rest of my life being that person for you as well. Max, I can guarantee that when this life is over, my soul will continue to follow you wherever you go, because... A lifetime with you could never be enough time. I love you. Max, do you take Morgan to be your lawfully wedded wife from this day forward, to have and to hold in good times and bad, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health? Will you love, honor, and cherish her for as long as you both shall live? I do. Morgan, do you take Max to be your lawfully wedded husband from this day forward, to have and to hold in good times and bad, 
for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, will you love, honor, and cherish him for as long as you both shall live? I do. Morgan, with this ring... Morgan... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Morgan, with this ring... I went a little fast. Morgan, be, with this ring... I be wed. I be wed. Okay. I'm breathing. And I do promise to love, honor, and cherish you. I do promise to love, honor, and cherish you. In good times and bad. In good times and bad. For richer or poorer. For richer and poorer. In sickness and health. In sickness and in health. Until death do us part. Till death do us apart. Max, with this ring, I thee wed. Max, with this ring, I thee wed. And I do promise to love, honor, and cherish you. And I do promise to love, honor, and cherish you. In good times and bad. In good times and bad. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and health. In sickness and health. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Having proclaimed your love for and commitment to one another in the sight of Almighty God and these witnesses, it is my pleasure to pronounce you. Wait for it. <laughs> you're good. You're yeah. good, brother. What's it going to be? To pronounce you by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church and the state of Washington, husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Honored guests, it is my great pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Vervalen. Morgan and Max have always been inseparable and crazy about each other since the very beginning. Over the years, as I've gotten to know Max better, I've seen how perfect he is for Morgan and how well he fits into our family. This shared value that Max and Morgan have on family just goes to show that they're going to create a strong, loving, and hospitable family together. I can't even begin to explain how happy I am to watch Morgan and Max do this and start their life together. The two of them were just so perfect together. I saw it from the very start. I saw it from the way he looked at her and the way he acted around her and how, I, how much at peace he was. Now to Morgan, I want to first off say thank you. Thank you for being so sweet, so accepting, so amazing and so awesome for my best buddy right here. When Max told me about Morgan, uh, I could tell that she was someone special. From the moment he met her, he was enamored by her welcoming personality and beauty. So my advice in the 24 years that I've lived my life as an unmarried man uh, to the newlyweds is to always remember the little things that brought you together. Keep laughing together because that is what keeps love alive. Always be each other's biggest supporter no matter what life throws your way. I want to thank Steve and Jane for raising such a fun young man that makes my daughter happy. Um, that's what matters to me the most at the end of the day. So thank you both. So today, Max, is a very special day for you because there's three people that are in this room that are the most important to me in my life. Now you're part of that too. And you have one of those people that means everything on this world to me is now part of you. So um, love her, honor, honor her, cherish her, and uh, treat her the way you would expect to be treated, expect that she would want you to be. So cheers to Max and Morgan, raise a glass. And uh, tonight is just the beginning. And we'll always have this to remember. And I just love you all. Cheers. <laughs>